welcome to our preview of the mysteries, thrillers, and comedies premiering this month on MHC Choice. For the first time, we premiere not one, but two original series from Japan. One magical and meditative, the other action-packed and ballistic. Think of Pension Metza as gentle tales from an Airbnb. Tenko, the soft-spoken owner of a guest house in the Nagano Larch Forest, encounters a new guest in each 30-minute episode. Whether it's a peculiar nature lover with a fear of dogs, a camper frustrated in her attempt to find solitude, or in episode 6, a young chef with a melon, played by actress Toko Miura, the chauffeur, in Oscar winner Drive My Car. As Tenko explains, her guests can be a little odd. She feeds them, nurtures them, and engages them in genuine human interchange over wine or whiskey. This show is Zen and the Art of Guest House Hosting, a meditation on our relationship with ourselves and the natural world. If there's a mystery here, it's the endless mystery of human nature. Ordinary People is an outrageous female-driven comedy series. Best friends from drama school get entangled in FOMO in the Icelandic entertainment industry. Messy, volatile single Vala lives in the garage of her supported bestie, married with children Juliana. The women's friendship fades when Vala pitches an idea to a room full of media exec bros tasked with expanding female content and mistakenly wakes the guys up with Juliana's homemade porno with husband Tommy. The good news? Vala lands the gig. The bad? Humiliation. She's cast as sidekick to Juliana's host. Eventually, Sister Solidarity flies out the window on live TV. Check out this outrageous backyard barbecue at Juliana and Tommy's house. There's the agonizingly boring guests, the stay-at-home dad tied to the grill receiving unwanted confessions, followed by the grand exit of the fighting couple. It's a party, and season two premieres later in October, promising even more craziness. Join us in Sicily for an engaging new mystery series on the lighter side from the producers of Detective Montalbano. Based on the Gatano Savateri novels, we begin with another complex character with an unwelcome but transformative homecoming. Sacked from his high-status government gig in Rome, Saverio returns to Sicily with his tail between his legs. Saverio retreats to his mother's shuttered villa in the fishing village of Macari. And before long, he becomes an unlikely investigator partnered with his shaggy local pal in cargo shorts and flip-flops. There's romance, too. The ladies' man pursues a beautiful waitress. This buoyant scene of them swimming made me want to dive immediately into the Mediterranean, and not alone. Season two of our procedural, Wilder, finds no-nonsense Rosa Wilder in a remote alpine village, continuing to discover that wherever you go, corpses crop up. Xenophobia takes center stage as one victim in the sixth episode season is a naturalized foreigner. A hallmark of Wilder is the way the past refuses to stay buried. In another episode, an unsolved act of vengeance leaves a trail of bloody breadcrumbs. Wilder and her partner pursue the clues to the end, taking them to the edge of their senses of justice and morality. Our other Japanese series, Kimpika, plays out like the Equalizer times three. A Yakuza, a soldier, and a disgraced bureaucrat converge and all suffered the consequences of doing the honorable act, whether it was avenging a murdered brother or confessing to taking a bribe in order to protect a compromised father-in-law. Driven by vengeance, the trio unites on the far side of the law to enact justice. To tort or crime scene, the shrewd German staple makes me crazy in a good way. There I am watching a keel set episode in the middle of the sixth season, pairing aging loner Klaus Borowski with dynamic young Mila Sahin, and it's ripped from our headlines. Called Borowski and the Fear of the White Men, it plunges into the cult of white supremacists and how they activate one incel from loner at the disco to emboldened skinhead. 
Borofsky goes undercover at a Back to Manhood seminar, witnessing how the leader preys on the loneliness and fear of the other, which are at the roots of a right-wing fanaticism that will have Americans nodding at the parallels. Procedurals like this one have the power of a familiar structure to venture deep into dark territory without sacrificing tension. In The Fox, she's former Stasi, he's an entrepreneurial Arab. Together, these Berliners from opposite sides of the wall make an odd couple of investigators. The bodies pile up, sometimes he gets in over his head, and others, she's too good at her job, exploiting old East German blackmail tactics to surface clues. In A Bountiful Month, we also have new episodes from Inspector Dupin, All Men, and La Porta Rossa. Also premiering is a three-part French drama, A Long Lost Silence, the star-studded Natalie Bay political thriller, Spin, and the standalone feature, Brawl. Endless Variety is the name of the game this month, with a refreshing Japanese drama, a new Italian series from the Detective Montalbano team. That's this month on MHC Choice. Baby, don't tell me 